Hi, I'm Janelle Taylor, also known as Hoop Maiden, and today I'm going to be showing you the Future Hoop Pro. This means the hoop and the remote today. So this is how you disconnect the hoop. There is a small little plastic connector, somewhat similar to their old one, but extremely small and lightweight, that comes apart with the push of that button, as you can see here. So there is a very small amount of room where there is no lights, as you can see. It's less than an inch. Um, it's about the space of two of the lights in the actual hoop, I would say, maybe even one. Um, and as you can see, on the inside is the charging and on and off mechanism. So that's where you plug it on in. You can plug it into your computer or wall. And this is the on and off switch. With the on and off switch, you can actually go through all of the actual solid different kinds of modes in this hoop. Now, this is the Future Hoop Pro Remote. This is the full remote, not the performance one, which I will be doing another video with hopefully very soon. So I'm going to go through some of the options. The first one is the random motif. So what this random motif button does is um, it picks out any motif from the selection of the motifs on the hoop. So you can go through them and this is the way that you can stay on them, check out the different motif modes on the hoop, and if you like it you can stay on it. As you can see it does a lot of different patterns, um, it does all kinds of graphic illustrations such as these hearts and skulls. Um, it does all kinds of other stuff like stars and mosaics of all kind. Um, it's quite impressive. Now this is the random spiral button. What this does is the same concept as the random motif button except it lets you pick a random spiral mode. When I say spiral, I mostly mean chaser. This is the um, mode option where you can find chasers that will slow down or speed up with you. Um, you can manipulate them to look like the hoop is hovering. Um, it's one of my favorites. It does all kinds of really cool anti-spin sort of atomic like galaxy looking patterns as well as the actual chasers themselves which you can see very clearly right here. Excuse the person walking by and my dog in the background. I took the time to actually show you some of the footage of the spiral galaxy sort of modes that I was talking about before. Um, this mode is really cool because it's got a combination of chasers and the galaxy. Um, it does all kinds of spiked patterns that are somewhat chasers and very minimalist, which is cool. So this button is the random colors button. What this does is it changes the color palette of the modes that you are currently using. Say you're on a motif like this and you don't like the rainbows. What it does is it changes the color palette of the entire mode itself so that it suits your wants slash needs a lot more. Um, I will show you in just a moment of a different motif with more colors as you see here. Um, you can change the entire color scheme of any mode this way. It's a really quick and easy way to change up the feel of it. And um, it is awesome because you can actually stay on these random colors and stay on these color palettes for the upcoming modes that you choose next. Jumping down a row is the motif on and off button, which as you can see when you're on a spiral mode or any other mode other than motif, you can add a motif background to it. Um, it's a really cool option. You can also change the color palette of this mode by pressing the color palette button or choosing your own custom patterns for the entire thing. And my Facebook is going off, but as you can see, um, I can just easily turn it back off and go back into the spiral mode, no problemo. And back to motif. So this is the spiral on and off button located below the random spiral button, um, just like the motif on and off button. What this does is when you are on a random motif, such as, you can hit the spiral on and off button and it will add that sort of galaxy chaser spiral effect to the mode that you are using. 
Um, it does the same thing as if you were on a spiral mode and wanted to add a motif background, except that you would start on a motif background and add a spiral to this pattern. Um, this is really efficient because I use the motif patterns more than others, and it's a really cool way to add diversity to the modes that you were already favorited. Now we're going to go through these two right rows, even though it is backwards on my camera. Um, this top row that I'm showing you currently, all the white buttons, is all the different kinds of modes on this hoop as opposed to the original four. This is the solid. Um, so what this does is it projects solid colors constantly. Um, you can change the color palette of this instead of it moving constantly through a rotational rainbow pattern, or you can just let it do its thing. And as you can see here, the um, gap from the battery is non-existent. There is a small, small, tiny little light gap, and that is where the actual half inch maybe connector is and so this is where you can actually see where there might be a gap in this hoop. This is the galaxy pattern. It came on the original future hoop shuffle. Um, I like to call it the mood hoop mode because it is similar to a mood light. Um, there are some solid white lights in between as well as a constantly moving rainbow background similar to the solid color modes I was just showing you except it keeps the entire rainbow in play all at once at the same time as it rotates throughout the hoop. Here I am showing you the ISO mode. It also came on the original Future Hoop Shuffle. Um, what this is is a bunch of chasers with a solid colored background. Um, it's constantly changing unless you make it stop on a specific color mode. Um, this is really cool because when you do stalls and movements and isolations and the like, um, it will actually appear to make your hoop either stand still or float midair. Um, this is a really cool mode. I've always really liked it. I like the spiral modes a lot more because they offer individual chasers, but I will be showing you that very soon. This is the pop mode, a new mode on the future hoop, as well as the solid one that I showed you before. Um, what this does is creates a variety of extremely bright and vibrant colors while making it appear like you are spinning between two and six hoops, depending on the speed of the actual mode. Um, this is a really fun and cool mode. It's extremely bright and vibrant. Um, every time I bring this out, people think it's really awesome because it does create very noticeable trail effects, and it is constantly changing but staying very similar in the actual consistency of the pattern which is a really cool option to have um, because you don't have to be constantly changing the actual look and feel of your current hoop performance. This is the blizzard mode, also a new option on the Future Hoop Pro. What this does is it creates an entirely white spiral pattern. It is constantly spinning. So when you spin it the opposite direction, it creates that anti-spin galaxy form. When you spin it the correct direction, as it were, um, it would create a constantly circling spinny effect. Um, it stays white the entire time, hence the name Blizzard, and it is actually a really fun and cool mode to play with, especially at all-white parties, which do happen a lot in my area. So I'm going to show you this next row. It is the last row on your right side on the Future Hoop Remote. Um, what this is is more of the actual patterns, and this top button is what I'm showing you next. It is the Tap Tempo button. This is probably the coolest thing about this hoop in my opinion. Um, you can put it on a motif or anything of the like and press the button to the beat of the music and it will keep changing to the beat that you press the button at. This is awesome for uh, timed performances, choreography, uh, if you know the song really well and you really just want to get down and have the hoop go with you. I mean, it, it, you can have it constantly changing instead. Um, there's a lot of options as far as this one goes. This is the stop back button. Um, see if you're on a randomly changing mode or on the tap tempo mode and you would like to go 
back to a mode that you saw that you really liked or would like to save onto your favorites. Um, you can easily just pick up your remote, uh, either the performance one or this one, and press the stop button on the mode that you would like to go back to. That red star mode was pretty cool, huh? Well, I'm going to hit that stop back button, and actually, you can go back up to six times. So even if you do pass by it, you can still get back to it, as long as you're not going really, really fast with your changing patterns. This black button below the tap tempo one is the actual motif button. Um, similar to the other modes that I was showing you, it will constantly cycle um, at a slower rate granted than the future hoop shuffle, but this is how you would just regularly let it shuffle while you are hooping and doing your thing. What I am showing you here is the spiral button located beneath the motif button. What this does is goes through those spiral, anti-spin, and chaser modes that we were going over before on the random spiral button, except this will constantly go through the patterns within the spiral category, just like the other modes that I was showing you, um, more similar to the motif because it's got a lot more options. This is the color lock button. What this does is it locks the color palette that you chose this button on. And so when your hoop keeps cycling through the rest of the modes and patterns that it does, it will stay on those colors. Here is the saved button. It is the last black button on this black row all the way to your right. What this does is it cycles through your saved modes just like if it were on a spiral button motif button, galaxy button, etc. Um, it will constantly keep going through the modes that you have saved um, in your cache. And so it's very similar in that way to the motif cycling, except it's got all the modes that you personally saved into the hoop. So what I'm showing you here is the customizations to the modes that you were on. Um, first, I'm showing you size. What this does is when you're on a specific motif or pattern, you can change the size of it. This is large, there's a medium, and a small. You can also have it vary from large to small all at once. Um, it'll just constantly cycle between the three options. This here is the width button. Width in case you can't hear me very clearly. And what this does is changes the width of the light pattern that is currently on. So you can see it's extremely thin, medium thin, wide, and extra wide. This is the style button. It will change the style of the mode that you are on within the category of that mode. Say you are on a spiral or chaser mode, you can hit style and it will take you to the next style of these specific modes while staying on the color palette that you are currently on. This is the count button. This will change the count of the pattern that you're using. Um, it's most noticeable with these chaser modes. As you see, um, it makes it so you can have one to two to three to a uh, four, and then six, and twelve, I believe. Possibly more than twelve. This is a really versatile option, and I like it a lot. This here is the next button. What this does is when you're in a mode selection, you can hit the next to go to the next mode in order and in color coordination that is on the programmed hoop. This is the Quick select mode, um, you can hit this to jump to different modes and sections of modes therein while you were on a specific mode type. This button is the invert button. Um, what this does is when you're on a specific mode, it will invert it so that where lights were, there now aren't, and where lights aren't before, there now are. Um, this is really cool. It creates an awesome negative effect. Um, it's very captivating, and it creates a lot more options for the modes that you have.
Now this lower section of the remote, as you can see, all the colored buttons um, do several things. First, what I'm going to show you that they do is changing the color palettes of your modes. So say that you were on a color palette like a motif or a spiral mode and you don't like the colors because it clashes with your outfit or you just don't like those colors or you would just like different colors. Well, with the touch of a button and color coordinated button, you can get any color that you would want um, for this hoop. There are several different colors within each. There's like two different purples, two different pinks, rainbows, um, reds through greens. I mean, every color of the rainbow pretty much is on here, including white, um, which I think I am about to show in just a moment. Aha, I was right. These little buttons, the black and white one labeled 13 and 14, are pretty fancy because the white button will change one of the modes or colors to white, including all white, which I know is an awesome preference for some hoopers. Um, the black button, on the other hand, will take away some of the colors as opposed to adding a different color into that spot. As you can see here, it creates a very minimalist effect. Um, it's very cool for a strobey sort of performance. And um, it's still really captivating, which I really like. And you can change the colors still while it's in this minimalist mode. You can also shut off the hoop this way in a temporary manner and just hit colors to bring it back to life or pretty much any button. So this is a great option for parties and you don't want to disconnect your hoop and turn it off and on. You can just hit the black button a few times and it will turn off on its own. The lower right hand side for you guys is the save button. It's a little black button and this is how you save your modes. As you can see once you hit the save button it flashes yellow until you pick a actual number to save it to from your little color section here. So you would hit save and press the number or color that you would like to save it to so you can remember which one it is and you can come back to it later. I believe you can save up to 14 modes, possibly 15. Um, so it'll still keep flashing yellow until you hit a button, then it'll blink twice and that's how you know it is saved to your hoop. So you can go out of it and come back to it later. This little swirly rainbow button does exactly what you would think it does. Um, instead of changing one of the color patterns into a different color, it changes it into a rainbow pattern. You can make the entire thing rainbow if you keep hitting it. You can just make one of the colors in the actual pattern rainbow. Um, it provides a lot of really awesome options for us little rainbow brights. This is the load button located next to the save button. Um, this is how you would get back to those save modes if you just want a specific one. You would hit load and then the number that you had saved it to. And see here we are back to the one that I just saved. Here are the brightness buttons. As you can see on this side, if you want to dim your hoop, you press that. If you want to brighten it, you press this one. And what this is great for is if your hoop is dying at an outing or a party that you were performing at and you would like your hoop to live a little longer, you can dim down the brightness. It'll make a slight flash and all the way down to nothing. This is also another way to turn off the hoop theoretically while you were at an event. Um, as you can see, when you were pressing the up button, it flashes. And when you're all the way bright, it'll flash red. Well, this has been extremely long, and I may have missed a button or two, but I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on the Remote and Future Hoop Pro. If there are any more questions or you'd like another video, just comment below. Thank you so much for watching.